We're going to talk about ordinals once again. Uh, ordinals, inscriptions, all this Bitcoin NFT mania is causing a ruckus on the Bitcoin blockchain with fees spiking over 100% of the block reward, actually, for one of the first times in Bitcoin's history, leading to a bonanza of Bitcoin mining fees for Bitcoin miners. And then also a lot of fun for you know, people who like stuff on Bitcoin, you like NFTs. This is a really awesome story just showing that yeah, there's more in Bitcoin than people uh, really give it credit for. One thing I got to say first, I got to shield the hash a little bit. We've been all over the story since the beginning. So, you know, if you're watching us daily, you are setting up at the times pretty well. Jenna, I want to throw this one over to you. You are our NFT expert, if we can give you that title, as well as our chief legal officer. So What's your titles. take on all this? So many titles. It's so many titles. Uh, the article said that some analysts consider the rapid transactional activity as a sign of network adoption, which adds to Bitcoin's fundamental narrative. I am agreeing with these analysts. And I keep thinking back to the time where, Will, you and Zach were live from ETH Denver, and you said that all of these people people who are new to the space were learning about the space through NFTs and meme coins. And now we have NFTs and meme coins on Bitcoin. And so I think it's just, I think it's like a great fun way for people to learn about Bitcoin and fees are going to go up if there's more activity on chain and it just presents more problems that we need to solve, but we're super early. And so I think that this is cool. And before Zach, before I kick it to you, Will, I just want to know from a mining perspective, like, are you celebrating this? Because, you know, mine Miners are possibly profitable again. Oh, we've we've been profitable. Don't don't you worry. Yeah, disclosure. <laughs> do work for a Bitcoin mining company, running media for them, uh, and it's been bad times. Like November was probably the darkest. So a lot of miners actually went bankrupt during that period. Right now, it's awesome to be online. I have four Bitcoin miners myself, and all of them are enjoying a little fee bump. Uh, right now, one interesting anecdote, and I kind of alluded to it a second ago, is that historically the fees component of a Bitcoin block. So in the side of Bitcoin block, there is a Bitcoin reward for mining Bitcoin block, and then you get the fees associated with transferring Bitcoin. Typically, Bitcoin fees are about like 1% to 2% of that reward. Right now, it makes up about 50% all the way up to 100%. And that historically has not happened very often within Bitcoin's history. And it's all because of inscriptions and ordinals. So this is like one of the best times to be a Bitcoin miner, honestly. Zach, over to you. Man, Will was gone last week and he missed shit coins on Bitcoin. Dude, this is about BRC20. This isn't about ordinals. This is the meme coins. They're that's a, over that's the a type of it's a type I'm inscription. It's so sad. It's so sad. I had to channel like the grumpy Bitcoiner on the show last week. Oh, no, like, you did not. No, this is a yeah, bridge too far. Like, no, like, is anything <laughs> sacred anymore? And now how we have meme coins on the Bitcoin blockchain and Will's all over here like, well, at least my fees are up. At least my I miners are man. Really good. I'm Damn. making money. I don't know, man. Philosophically <laughs> speaking, this is just, this is simply too much. This is simply too much, sir, that meme coins exist on Bitcoin. I guess meme coins, you know what? It's a feature, not a bug of the crypto world. You see it with Pepe and all this stuff that's going on right now. But to see it come to Bitcoin, never did I think that we'd be here and so all those grumpy maxis who bemoaned ordinals as opening a flood, opening a floodgate of all this quote unquote innovation on the Bitcoin blockchain. I, yeah, I'm with them. I'm with them in spirit, Will. So I put it back to you. I know you're wow. loving those sweet, sweet fees, but I give it to you. I give it to you. Wow. Yeah, Zach's totally right. So BRC20 is basically uh, this new minting token program that is being launched on top of Bitcoin. It is a subset of inscriptions and is causing this huge pump in the uh, transaction fees right now because these sort of mints on Bitcoin, if you will, take a lot of block space in order to do. And that is just jam packing these Bitcoin blocks with so many different transaction types and different transactions that it's making it really hard to use Bitcoin for like an ordinary transaction like you would have a few months ago. I mean, to pay with Bitcoin a few months ago, it was like one sat uh, per V-byte, which is basically like pennies. Right now we're looking at like $20 to transact on Bitcoin. So that's like a crazy multiple if you're just looking at a percent gain for the cost of transacting on Bitcoin. And this might be the way that Bitcoin is going forward, right? We saw this with Ethereum multiple times, and that's why they kind of re-engineered the layer one and they moved to rollups. Bitcoin doesn't really have that. So it's anyone's guess what happens from here. Does ordinals die off? Do BRC20s fail and we go back to low fee environment? Or is this the new normal where like you can't really send a layer one transaction because it's too expensive and there's too many Pepe tokens taking up all the block space? Who's to know? Jen. I want a prediction from you, Will. We missed you last week. What's <laughs> happening? What do you think is going to happen next? 
I think there's going to be some cool mints from a few projects coming up. I think uh, Yuga Labs might be instructive here. They kind of came out of nowhere uh, in 2020, 2021, and now they're kind of a dominant force. I think there's going to be a few companies that pop up and do that on Bitcoin. I think there's going to be some interesting artwork. I think there will also be some new like roll-up-like use cases on top of Bitcoin that we don't see coming up. And I think we've entered a new high-fee environment. Not this high. I bet it drops by like 50 to 75% from where it is right now. But I think that's going to be a little bit more costly to use Bitcoin going forward. That's my take. Zach? Just give me my good old-fashioned pet rock and get off my <laughs> lawn, kids. <laughs>